make these little tiny strawberries and they're delicious but they're quite a handful to deal with because they're so small it takes a long time to haul them and if I was to just serve them up uh, it would take a lot of strawberries to make one dish of strawberries but these little wild strawberries they pack a flavor punch so what I want to do is I want to pack these in maple syrup and they're going to use them for a dessert so the first thing that's always a challenge especially if you're using something expensive like maple syrup is how much syrup do I need to make so a little trick is I'm just going to take some water and I'm going to fill a jar up and then I'm going to take that jar I'm going to empty the contents into another jar and I see that just under 200 milliliters of space per jar assuming that they're all pretty similar to one another and I think I want this to be pretty heavy as far as the maple goes because it's going to go on desserts so what I'm going to do is I'm going to make it 50 50 so for every jar I'm going to have 100 milliliters of water and 100 milliliters of maple syrup so I'm going to add 400 milliliters of water to my pot and then I'm going to add 400 milliliters of maple syrup so now I've got about ten dollars worth of maple syrup in some water now I'm gonna bring this to a boil and then I'm gonna pour it in I've got my boiling hot maple syrup so maple syrup is just a little over 50 percent sugar 200 grams of maple syrup about 120 grams of that is sugar so now I'm just gonna take my hot maple syrup mixture and I'm just gonna pour it into my jars until we reach the top and because I did that little measurement at the beginning I have the perfect amount of syrup for my jars so now I'm going to put lids on these and if I wanted to preserve these for a very long time now I would put them in a hot canning bath but since I'm going to use these up here in the restaurant on the desserts in the next couple of weeks I'm not going to bother doing that I'm just going to put them directly in the fridge and keep them safe that way but you could preserve these by canning and have them shelf stable for in perpetuity these are basically ready to eat right now but they'll be better after five days after five days the maple syrup will penetrate into the strawberries and they'll be at their peak goodness and they'll be really good and get a little bit better over time for the next four to eight weeks and I can't think of a better pairing than wild strawberries and maple. These are going to be so fantastic. Spooned over cheesecake or maybe pavlova. If you'd like to eat this, please consider subscribing and hitting the like button because I'm going to make more recipes like this in the future and then you'll know when they're up.